no custom entrance but where you get into the zoo instantly nice open and wide area with something that might look like a habitat but really isn't nope it's just a nice centerpiece i would have loved to put some sort of exhibit animal in there if it was possible like small turtles or even if like they were in the game like little fishes but yeah it's just a centerpiece you do have a, a little drinks and info area over here this this building isn't made by me it's just here uh, at the start and that's the staff area over there if you would walk through the zoo you'd probably go to the right over here at the start where we have the flamingos with this nice little habitat that i made i have a lot of flamingos in here i probably should uh yeah i probably should send some off with the, how many of them are in here yeah we have this little water area connecting both sides over here a little bit of a shelter and here you have a bit of food and just the only tree that's in here and here we have a bit of a foraging area which is actually works the the staff can throw food in there and they also eat it there just isn't anything in there right now but yeah this is like the main view from inside the habitat you're also able to see through that glass and that one glass port over here but after you continue and sometimes if flamingos also just don't want to swim under so they just take this path instead yeah they just walk, walk right over here which is kind of cool i guess then you have this again like a little square over here with with some uh well bernie's bakes this this building is default but i still really like the the way i fit it in as it's sort of a part of the habitat wall without the you could like sit here and just watch the emus and over here just uh just clo close off the zoo so you don't just have like the, the open area over there and also incorporate the, the toilet into the into the habitat wall over here which is the ostriches ostrich whatever you pronounce them but here let's check out the emus the pretty simple habitat as you can see Ma main feature is sort of like just a hill on that side with a with a, um what is it? like a little pool over here in between i guess what you would call the little foraging area for them some more water no, nothing really special going on inside of it uh, didn't really have a, an id for what they would like or how to make it uh, interesting but you do have this see through like you could see into their like sleeping area for this wall if you would were to head up on this walkway which allows you to also look at the ostriches ostrich who's bringing some water from the ground yeah this habitat doesn't have a back wall i just use the terrain to transform it make it uh, just just seem like a bit of a mountain area there's only two of them in here but yeah and here's the emus again so you could have you have like a little bird area at the start of the zoo with the flamingos and these two which you can both see then when you continue down after you have a little talk about the emus over here you can take a ride with no view of the view through here anymore you do have these two exhibits which i do kind of like the way i fit them into the walls well nothing to see here exhibits are just always the same so you have the entrance into the indoor part over here but you can also see some crocodiles or caiman i think not sure uh, i'll check it out in a bit from out here so this is actually my biggest mistake that I made in the zoo. Is I made this a very, very small path. While there's people trying to buy drinks on the left. And uh, people on this side try to look into the like the underwater view of the Caymans. And trying to look into the exhibit. Which is not that... Yeah, it was uh, bad decision making. Should have made this path like way wider. But then in, if, uh, if you don't want to go in there, uh, look on the outside. Or after you've looked on the outside, you can go in. And on the right, we have these guys. Just a nice, simple, almost too small habitat. 
can also go up here with a little bit of a enrichment feeding item. They walk up this rock over here. Yeah, this this is very simple habitat. And then on the left you have the caimans. I made this little rock, like rock to separate the water, so the water is actually higher than the, the the base of the the habitat, which was kind of difficult to make because I had to like hide hide the the fence that's in here to contain the water and the rocks, and then they still need to go on the rocks. And I mean, these guys aren't climbers, so I not sure if this was my best my best play, but uh, yeah, it looks I I, I do like the way it turned around. The inside isn't that special. It's mostly about the water. And then we have bongos on this side. Which was a bit of a mistake as these guys are one of the animals that... I think you have three levels. You have confident, neutral and, uh, and like shy. And these guys are shy of humans. Which makes the way this habitat is set up uh, a bit too stressful there for them. So I like randomly get notifications that they're really stress and try to hide or whatever and then they run away even though i mean yeah I, I i guess it's a lot of people a lot of viewing area very close to their habitat but i still like the way it looked i should just pick some animal that was fine with the way this was uh with this many people even putting even putting up the the signs helped a little bit stopping a lot of people from like it reduces stress slightly also with some ambient sounds but not enough and then it's just uh this this isn't really this looks kind of bad i wasn't sure what to do here and we just have a couple of people setting drinks <laughs> like this and food and then just a couple more like jungle themed exhibits I, I think these are mostly like south american i forgot to make that <laughs> okay that, that doesn't even display an animal but then you head out again this little roof area and this is only for staff a more staff area and this is how staff yeah get, gets into the exhibits from back here but the guests would obviously never see this oh so i didn't do too much detailing then over here we have tapirs just wondering about um so let's pretend that we took a left here or actually let's go back to the start and let's say we took the route, uh, the route from we took took to the left right over here. So you have this completely glass exhibit all the way around, which I kind of regret. It it looks fine, but I don't know if those guys might be fighting or playing. I'm not sure. But it looks kind of cheap just to have like a sa the same glass wall all around. You have a then next to, next to the exhibit uh, next to the habitat you have a couple exhibits, very default. And this is a restaurant, a custom restaurant, so they go in here, buy their food. They go out here and they can eat it on the outside. I guess they just kind of face through the wall and then keep it here, but that's just the way the game set it up. I I mean, I personally really like the way you have, you know, a staff area over here where they prepare food for the animals. And all these other staff area, I'm right next to the restaurant, but of, of course the guests, like, sometimes give like notifications that they don't want to see the staff areas for whatever reason i mean most zoos have staff areas in the open and like sh show how it's done but in the game they don't like it guests don't like it so <laughs> i think i just made a huge jump so the way this this exhibit is set up is with a little like shelter in the middle with a rock rock outside so they can go up top and forge up here I know these animals aren't really climbers, but I still just like the way it looked. So I decided to keep it like that. And on this side you have, for when they go for a swim, because these animals like to swim for whatever reason, they can go in here and have a swim and you can see it from the outside. Even though it, it is elevated again, like I did with the, the crocodiles. Here's just another, like, talk point, I guess. It's, it's, I don't remember what it's called couple information spots and then a bit of a safari habitat with two different animals we have uh like common common hog or something like that a warthog and sable antelope i think 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't and, like it that much. I just had this idea of a bit of water at the front going all the way along. And yeah, I want to have way more plants in here, but these are like grassland animals. So this is already too many plants for them. And I should have, I guess, then instead, oh, what a, what a jump, done some more elevation changes. With that jump, I just realized like, in real life, he probably would be able to get out of here with jumping on his rock and then jumping out. We have two shelters, like this one's a bit more covered than that one. But yeah. So then again, this is the start of the zoo. So not a very big zoo. And this is then the, the staff area. Just to hide it a bit from the public, set it up like this. This a little staff village, I guess. But yeah, that's basically it. Not too many animals, very little animals actually, but I do really like how I closed off the zoo. Uh, let me just uh, show you the overhead mode. This is the first time I made a, like an indoor habitat. Never really done that before. As you can see from the outside, it looks like, it, it doesn't really look that realistic. It like looks like a big factory or something. But from down here, you don't really notice that. It just, yeah, it's just a wall, like, and you don't really see this side anyway. And uh, I guess the most important, that's the most important part from what the guests would see. I guess the roof could have been, been a bit higher. Just to like, have you, give you a bit more room, <laughs> room above your head. Maybe add some bigger, allow me to add some bigger plants in here. Yeah, at least I finished the zoo for once, instead of all the other zoos, which I just want to continue building. This one, I just decided I'm going to make a bit of a small one. I added like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight habitats. But uh, thank you for watching.